Yo, what's up? Mr. Bill here, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about my phase plant preset pack called God Mode. Um, I think in this video, I kind of, uh, and this pack in general, I kind of wanted to show how powerful phase plant is, as well as just make like a bunch of cool sounds that you can use. Um, but for this video, I'm going to just co kind of concentrate on, on some of the patches that are a little more complex and generally these patches um they're the ones that i've hearted here techno psytrance nice rp thing lush melody jerry and ego death and basically these presets they're kind of like i try to make sort of a not a whole song really but like a kind of a beat inside faceplant so for this psytrance one uh if we look at this we have three groups this is another thing i really like about um faceplant is you can kind of group your oscillators and your filters and all that uh, so if we turn the bottom two off and we just look at the top, well actually let's take a listen to the whole preset first. So the whole preset sounds like this. So it's basically a Psytrance beat. And the way that I've done this is I've kind of treated each group here as like a channel in uh, Ableton. Uh, so this top one here does the kick. So it's just a sine wave that's getting modulated by this LFO down here really quickly uh, with this kind of just, you know, kick type shape to it. And that makes the kick. And then that happens uh, every four 16th notes, so every quarter note basically. And then this second group here is the bass. So that's just a saw wave. And then that has this 116 note LFO chugging along here. And then this third one down here is more just like of a like a noise layer to make it sound like hi-hats or something. So I just used random white noise. And then uh, the gain here is just being controlled by this same uh, 116th LFO. And then altogether you get this kind of thing and the other cool thing about phase plant is you can send all of these groups to different uh, output lanes and then these output lanes can all have different processing on them so for instance the kick goes to lane one and then you can go and look through here to see what the kick processing looks like if you want and then uh, the base here goes to lane two and then you can go check out what the base processing looks like i've generally collapsed most of the stuff uh, in the presets, just so it's a little easier to look at, uh, and you can kind of at an over, like at a glance, like have an overview of everything that's going on. <clears throat> and then the noise also goes to lane one, but then down here you can see lane one goes to lane three, and lane two also goes to lane three. So it kind of combines the kick and the sub slash hi hat channel and sends them to lane three, and then this kind of would be treated as the master channel if you were to consider it that in Ableton. So I kind of uh, got a little bit of, uh, interested in this idea of treating phase plan almost like its own door um, type thing. And, and yeah, the <laughs> started making these like beats in it and they, they're all available in my God mode preset pack, which is out now. And I think you can just get it on Killer Hearts' website. Um, so here's another example of that. There's this techno beat here. Uh, it's also pretty complicated, but it's, a, it's the same concept. It's like a, each group is doing its own thing and then they're all getting sent to their own lanes. And then I believe lane three is probably gonna be like the, um, the master quote unquote lane. <clears throat> so if I make this 128 BPM and just hold a long note down, has quite a long baseline here so it's kind of to show the power of the lfos in serum so uh i think you can just have as many of these as you want i don't think at least i've never hit the limit of how many of these you can have so i have one that's doing i believe 16 bars 32 over four it's either 16 or eight but maybe that's eight bars um, and this is kind of doing the long baseline thing so if we turn all of these groups off except for the harmony um you can see there's a few LFOs on this actually. There's one that's kind of doing this 16th note thing uh, by modulating something here. It might be just modulating this level here. Uh, you can see 
that is just modulating the level of the oscillator at 16th notes. Uh, and then <clears throat> if we go over to this really long one here, this is attached to, I believe, the pitch of the oscillator. And you can kind of just see this do this whole bass melody. So it's kind of cool, you can get these like nice glides and cool movement happening in these LFOs, which is nice. Uh, then we have another group here called Melody, and this one is connected to this LFO here. And this is doing like a shorter melody, just I think like a one bar melody. And then we have the drums and the hats which are essentially the same as last time the drums are probably just yeah a sine wave with some sort of like uh, kick type lfo on it it might be this one here yeah this one and then to do the hi-hat it's just white noise with uh, an lfo attached to the gain that is opening every other half bar i believe and then the rest is just processing really. So again, you can see there's a ton of processing in here. Uh, sorry if it blunts your processor <laughs> by trying to load this, but um, yeah, I don't know. I, just, I was having a lot of fun with the processing. And then I've kind of just attached a lot of macros to these presets so you can mess with them. Like for instance, this one called quote unquote mastering. Uh, so if you turn this down, it will sound like less finished or less mastered. <laughs> And then you've got uh, a couple of other macros here to just mess with things like open the bass filter up, turn the hats on and off, mess with the melody. So yeah, that's fun. Uh, and then these RP things, nice RP thing, lush melody, etc. These are kind of the same idea, um, where it's just a long LFO attached to the pitch of an oscillator of some kind, and then it's sort of just doing a long melody. <laughs> So yeah, I had a lot of fun making these. Um, I want to show you one more patch before I finish this video called Jerry. And this one is, in my opinion, my top work of all time, which sounds like this. So that one is obviously the, <laughs> the melody from Seinfeld, but again, I just kind of wanted to make the point that you can kind of do anything you want in face plan. It's really powerful. So you have this one long LFO here, which is doing like the notes. And then you have this LFO here, which is doing the rhythm. And then at the end, the little wub, the wub, 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 wub is done by this LFO here. <laughs> so, Waste of time, maybe. Good preset, absolutely. Uh, and then you got like, you know, a few uh, macros here. Like for instance, the Jerry Choir. So yeah, fun preset. Uh, and then there's just a bunch of like, sound other sounds not more normal stuff like i kind of just wanted to make these ones just to flex a bit on how cool face plan is but there's, there's a bunch of just normal sounds like some basses you know and then there's you know yeah ton of basses this laughing pig one is kind of cool 
And this one is used by just stacking a ton of flanges and a ton of phases and tons of delays and ensembles. And then you get that just really extremely processed kind of phasey sound. Uh, this one, apparently you shouldn't touch it. What happens if you touch it? Yeah, it's fine. Don't listen to past me. Um, there's a couple of drum ones. Like there's this, uh, where's the snare one here? Snare generator. Yeah, it's not the best snare ever, but you know. There's a, it's a start. Yeah, you definitely need to process that a bit, but it's kind of like a starter snare, I guess. And then there's a, there's a couple of kick ones. Yeah, this kick generator one. And then there is a there's a symbol one in here somewhere, symbol generator. I actually really like the symbol one, I think it's pretty useful. Uh and yeah, I mean that's basically a ton of ton of presets. They're available now on the Killer Hearts website if you want to go get them. Go check them out. Uh, half of them, or a, a percentage, a small percentage of them, uh, more just like flexing patches, like I mentioned. But there is also a bunch of just useful basses and drums and synth sounds and stuff in there. So, yeah, uh, hope you enjoy the pack and have a good day. <laughs>